Imagine finding a super cool AI niche that's going to make your TikToks go viral and start earning effortlessly on the TikTok creativity program beta. It's like having a secret weapon for success. In this video, I'll show you this awesome TikTok AI niche that's going to make your TikTok stand out. So if you're ready to amp up your TikTok game and get noticed, don't miss out on this video. Trust me, it's going to be game changing. This niche is a relationship, just take a look at it. How well do you know your girlfriend? If you get more than two wrong, you owe her a boo basket. Save and send this to test him. When is your girlfriend's birthday? I hope you get the idea. Now, let me show you how you can create these sorts of contents easily with Canva. By the way, if you want Canva Pro, just like the video, and comment, I need Canva Pro, and I will send you a free Canva invite link. All right, to start creating a video like this, we need the questions, right? Good. For that, just open your browser and go to ChatGPT. Now give it this prompt and hit enter on your keyboard. I will leave the prompt in the description, so don't worry. After that, go to Canva and click on the Create button. From here, search for TikTok and click on the TikTok video option. First, we need to create the template, so I will zoom in my timeline from here for you to see it clearly. Now, I will extend this page from 5 seconds to 7 seconds, which will be the length of the scene. I will then go ahead and add a background. Next, I will add a circle by clicking on the letter C on my keyboard. Now I will add a bold text and go back to ChatGPT to copy one of the questions there and paste it in the box. I will change the font to one of my favorites and reduce the font size to 56. Now, enlarge the size and make sure it is aligned to the center on this alignment button so that all texts won't be misplaced. Go to the effect, add some outline to increase the thickness. After that, head over to the element section and search for tablet. Select frame from here and drag and drop this horizontal tablet to the canvas like this. Enlarge it and make sure it is placed in the middle. Now, I will go ahead and add a timer from the element tab. You can choose any timer you like. Click Edit Video from here and click on Background Remover to remove the black background from the timer. If you notice, adding the timer has increased the page length. Therefore, I will drag it back to 7 seconds. Now, I will place the timer in the circle like this. Next, select both elements and right-click on your mouse and select the Show Timing option, since these elements are not going to appear at the same time. Now you have to drag the playhead to about 0.5 seconds and trim the start handle to meet the line. Next, click on this small arrow here, then drag the playhead to 2.5 seconds and click on the timer to trim it to meet the line. After that, click on the circle to trim it to meet the same line at 2.5 seconds. For the animation, just select all the elements and click on the animate option at the top here to apply a pop animation and leave it in both. Now we need to add sound. To do that, go to the element and under the audio tab, just search for golf swing. Now drag the playhead to the start and from here, scroll down and select golf swing 19. Next, drag the playhead to where the timer starts and search for a clock ticking sound effect. Select the clock ticking 2. Now since the audio cannot be created in bulk, a quick hack you can use is to select all elements and delete them and extend the page back to 7 seconds. After that, download the page as an MP4 file to your device and undo the deletion by pressing Ctrl plus Z twice on your keyboard to undo the deletion. You can now delete the audio from the timeline one after the other and go ahead to upload the video we just exported. Now click on the uploaded video and set it as a background by right-clicking on it and choose the Set Video as Background option. This way the audio will always be available when we are using the template. Next, we will need some images. For that, just go back to ChatGPT and look at the questions there. As you can see, the first question talks about your girlfriend's favorite movie. So, I will go back to Canva, and from the Elements section, I will search for movies. Switch it to Photos, and right-click on the one you like, and click on the Add to Folder. 
Now create a new folder to make your work easier. Then go back to ChatGPT and look at the second question. Here, my second question talks about first date. I will search for dating and choose the one I like from the photo library and add it to the folder I just created. Now repeat this step for the other questions as well. The next step is bulk create. Just go to the app section and click on the bulk create from here. Now choose enter data manually. Clear the table first and go back to chat GPT to copy the questions from top to bottom. After that, paste it in the first block here. Now click on add image to add columns for the images. Next, click on the first image block and to find the image folder and select the corresponding image which is your girlfriend's favorite movie. Repeat the same for the other rows till you fill them. When you're done with that, just click on the Done button from here. Now right-click on the image frame, click on Connect Data, and choose the image option. Repeat the same for the question and choose the text option and click on Continue. Since this template is 7 seconds long, generating the 5 scenes will make it 35 seconds, which is below the requirements of the TikTok creativity program. Therefore, you need to add more scenes to make it at least 1 minute 20 seconds. When done, click on the Generate. Now we need to add transitions. To do that, just hover your mouse between two scenes and click on this tiny icon here. From here, choose any of these transitions. I will go for the color swipe transition. I will do the same to the other scenes and move on. The next step is to add voiceover. For this, I will use a tool called Augie. It's free to use with no limit or restrictions. You can also use Eleven Labs or any other tool you like. All you need to do is to sign up for a free account and create a new project. Have you heard this voice on TikTok and YouTube Shorts? Hi, I'm Adam, and I'll be the voice of your Augie today. This is the most popular voice on TikTok, which is called Adam. I will use this same voice in this video as well. Now go back to ChatGPT. Here, you can copy all the questions and create the voice at once. That means you'll have to split it on Canva, which is lots of hustle and time-consuming. So, instead of that, a trick you can use is by creating the voice one by one. I will copy the first question here and paste it in this box. Now I will click on the Preview Your Script button. Once done, download it to your device and repeat the same steps for the remaining questions. If I open the folder which contains the voices, you'll see that the voices are named with dates and time, which is too long to find it easily on Canva. Therefore, another quick hack you can use is to highlight all by pressing Ctrl plus A and press F2 on your keyboard to rename them. I will name them like TikTok and hit Enter on my keyboard. This will rename all the voices at once and add numbers to them for easy identification. Now, select all and upload them to Canva. After that, drag the playhead to the first scene and click the first voice, which is TikTok 1. Now, drag the playhead to the second scene and click on second voice, which is TikTok 2. I hope you've seen the reason why we renamed the voices. Just repeat this for all the scenes. Now, let's add a quick intro to make it more engaging. To do that, just hover your mouse between two pages and click on the plus icon here to add another page. Now drag the page you just create to the beginning of the pages. After that, I will go to the element tab and search for a background. I will type here, love backgrounds and click on the photos. I will choose this one here and add it to the canvas by clicking on it. I will go ahead and adjust it to fit the canvas. Now I will click on the edit photo button from the top and click on adjust. I will reduce the brightness to minus 50. I will add a bold text from here and write something like, how well do you know your girlfriend? Quiz edition. I will change the font style to Canva student font and reduce the font size to 80. Now, I will adjust it and place it at the center of the page. After that, I will add the pop animation by clicking the Animate button from here. Now, I will right-click on the page and click on the Duplicate Page option. Here, I will write something like, Girls, if he gets more than two wrong, she owes you your favorite drink. After that, go ahead and add transitions and voiceover to those pages. I will fast-forward this part and show you the result. 
Before I play the result, please give a like if you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe. You can also give feedback on what you think should be improved. How well do you know your girlfriend? Girls, if he gets more than two wrong, she owes you your favorite drink. What is your girlfriend's favorite movie? Where did you and your girlfriend go on your first date? What is your girlfriend's favorite food? What is your girlfriend's zodiac sign? What is your girlfriend's middle name? 